ready to record like a motherfucking boss. What's up, guys? What's up, girls? What's up, people? Yeah. Um, Julianne just sent me a, a text. Oh, my what? My iPhone. What the fuck is this, bro? Yeah, you can even see that shit clearly. Hey, Julianne Dime. Oh, well, I'm letting the people see what you just said to me. Shouldn't have sent you Bitcoin because you're addicted. That's the entire point. And that, that is why I'm glad you have house internet instead of just phone internet because I used to do torrents over my um my my touch 4G. Kind of reason why I used to get throttled so fucking much because I used to do everything with my fucking phone. But let's see. I want to try and lump all this in together. I don't know if I want to make this a private video or a public video. I mean, I guess it doesn't really fucking matter. Because it's not like a lot of people view my videos. Most people don't give a fuck. Um, so with that said, we're going to try and start the show. First of all, for those who don't know, I have an iPhone. Let's see. Yes, it's on. Yes, it's active. Yes, I text my brother some shit and all other wonderful shit. And yeah. Jules has an iPhone too, so pretty much we're all we we can communicate and shit, and I can get jobs and I can call people and not have to deal with I can't hear you, sir, because you're static enough because Google Voice is saying fuck your couch, nigga. I don't want you to get a job. But speaking of jobs, I have interview number two at Chipotle this Thursday, ten thirty in the morning. I don't know how I'm gonna figure. I'm no how the fuck I'm gonna figure that out. I think I just kind of like inadvertently fucked myself. Um, I know that I, I'm i probably going to need to get this English paper, paper turned in early. So I'm going to try my hardest to do my um, social homework tonight. I'm, I'm going to try and do it the moment I'm done with this. And I'm done trying to help Julianne figure out what's wrong with her Facebook or her Facebook app. But I haven't charged my phone all day. And it says my phone's at 16%. I'm not going to charge my phone. I'm going to let my phone full on tank because then I will force a brand new battery life I will force the maximum because you power cycle the battery what two or three times and then you can rinse and recharge as you want and then you pretty much you get the you get the the most battery for your bang or most battery for your buck you need to let the battery die out at least once every what is it two months you need to let the battery fully die I mean to where you cannot turn the phone on and you plug that fucker in because that's how you preserve your phone and especially with iPods um, iPhones, Mac, etc. That's how you work these products. Or if you don't want to have to replace that battery for like five hundred dollars and like a month of having the shit. Let's see. It's been told to me that I probably won't be going to school in the summer because there's some money. I don't really mind it because I wanted I wanted spring off. I'm really fucking pissed that I list, listen to her because I could have took spring off. And did the summer, and then I could have probably got a better English teacher or some shit. I feel like if I got a, I don't like our English teacher. I just don't. I don't like how she does the curriculum. I don't like how she drops all this fucking work on us. It's like the fucking um, hybrid classes are supposed to be a little more relaxed, but clearly that's not what she thinks. She thinks this shit's supposed to be fucking the same as actually being in the fucking class, what, like three or four or five days a week. And it's like, really? She hit us with a fucking exam today. Now she's hitting us with a fucking exam paper fucking this due Thursday. It makes me fucking sick. Okay, and other news. What else do I want to fucking address? Um, well, I got an interview. Um, I need to make sure I get a job because the whole me getting a car summertime with school funds, that idea is done. The, the, it won't happen until um, Julian posted something to Facebook and you know, remember this damn thing, make that noise. But um, yeah, I'm happy that you are you're finding stuff and you're you you. I just I'm just happy with how the progress seems to be going. Um, yeah. I like seeing Julianne's house and not Julian Joe's because that shit irks me. I'm I'm not gonna lie. A lot of our fucking issues comes from the both of us just like picking on one another. 
to where it's like you'll look for something. As, it, it seems like, at least on your end, it's like you, you kind of seem like you want to sabotage because, like you may have said, that you are kind of scared of something good or you're not used to it happening and whatever. I mean, I can understand it, but yeah. And for everyone who knows, I did put context into that. I tried twice at school, wasn't enough light in that bathroom, and I just said, fuck it. I'm going to leave them out, put my glasses on, and I'll get some good sleep tonight when I have to think to myself, hmm, it's like 10 something the night. Do I want to try and get these things out of my face or not? I mean, getting them out is starting to become like a second nature. Last night, I got them out in about 10 minutes of walking in the bathroom, if that. And I did literally go in the bathroom, take a nice long dumper. I guess this might be too much, too much information, but I did go to the bathroom, wash my hands, and then try and get them out. And it didn't take me that usual fucking 20 to 30 minutes to get one eye out <laughs> because yes they can be a fucking annoying but i'm starting to get used to it my um my left eye feels absolutely nothing now i can reach in there i can literally like reach in there poke all up in my shit the, uh, 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 and it, 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 i don't even feel it anymore you know that weird ass sensation you first feel when you first put contacts in left eye does not feel it at all it's like nope but um, I wanted to address some stuff. Um, I just wanted to talk about everything. We've already heard about the eviction. I'm supposed to be moving the fuck out of here. I have no clue where the fuck I'm going to go. I have no clue what the fuck I'm going to do for the moment because I have to like push really hard for a fucking job. I, I wanted a fucking job to begin with because I don't want to be just be in school. I want to be feeling as productive as I can. And I want to make sure I can pay for this and whatever else. I don't like relying on people for anything. If it were up to me, and if it, if I have my way, all of the phone bill will be paid by me. And you won't have to pay a fucking cent. But that's just if it's all up to me. I just I like being the man, the person who provides, the person who I'm I don't know how to really explain it. I just I have a husband type mentality. I don't see things the way the typical person would do. I don't I don't assess women by just their looks, first of all. It's like women all are all self-conscious and, oh my God, I don't like the way I look and this, that, this, that. And I guess this is kind of why the issue happened earlier today. When you when your first text to me was, I'm upset with you. I'm like, oh fuck, what the fuck did I do now? I'm like, I'm just literally like, what the fuck could I have done now? Because when I post old vlog videos and stuff like that, I post them and I pretty much forget about them. If you can actually see how many people have viewed my videos yourself by just scrolling down a little bit, looking in your bottom right, you will notice that it typically says like zero views, one views, two views. Sometimes that's me viewing my own video so I can add some commentary under it or after whatever. Or if I even just click on it, it counts as a fucking view. There aren't many people who give a fuck about what's going on with me. There aren't many people who care. There aren't many people who are going to go out of limb for me. There aren't many people who seem to be valid in any way, say, shape, or form when it comes to my life situations and how I'm going to get things done. The only person I really can say that I have in my corner is you because typically you do come around and do stuff with me even though you may not always, you may not pay for shit. <laughs> But it is what it is. I can understand that you've been in the hospital and you're broke and stuff like that. I can understand it. I can dig it. This thing, it just fascinates me. This thing is fucking universal. If you look at both fucking plugs, you know, so it's the same exact size, which means I can go to the fucking UK, plug this in the fucking wall, mate, and have power. Now, if you plug, like, a standard thing from our sockets and try and plug it in on UK or some shit, boom, goes the fucking dynamite, bro. 100% serious. But anywho... Uh, I forgot more I was talking about. It was pretty much, I wanted to like respond to the whole thing that was said about whatever I said in the video. I did, haven't rewatched my video of whatever it is that made you mad, whatever I said. First of all, I can't admit that I was wrong. I perceived a few things in the improper light. First of all, I'm just going to put all this shit blunt. I'm We've already discussed that I need to like stop trying to speak in super nerdy lingo so I can be understood easier at times. So simply put, you seeming, in my opinion, you seem to fear Rebecca. It's equal or even because I fear, fear this Joe guy because 
he is still around romantically, at least for the moment. Hopefully that will change very soon. But he is still around romantically, so it's like he still is in a position to take oh, one thing that matters to me, you. My simply put you. Happiness, the life of just being happy, going places, having fun. He has the ability to take that. And it's not hard. I mean, it's not easy for me to find that within a woman. I mean, I've tried so hard with so many women just to like get them to understand that my happiness doesn't depend on you per se. My happiness depends on me. I know how to make myself fucking happy. I'm happy, or I'm, I feel like I'm most happiest when I see other people happy and smiling and being productive and successful. And I like to be a part of that sort of thing. That is the one thing that certain people didn't understand. I said to you via iMessage that I am going to try to refrain from mentioning specific people and two specific people that I want gone. And it's not me and it's not you. I want the other two specific people gone, but I have to address a couple things. Firstly, the woman in question would not even be around had you have not pushed the envelope on me giving her another chance because you were like, oh, you're whatever, whatever is the past. Because I am still pretty adamant with never speaking to her again. Because if I don't say anything, she won't say anything. She very rarely texts or call anyone first. I usually just say, hey, how are, are you still sick or whatever. Just try and figure out if she's still alive. Because she is a person. And at one point in time, she used to be really cool. And then all that changed. So in, in, in my train of thought, when I saw the whole Facebook thing... Then I um, saw the MySpace shit. You went out of town and all this shit happened. And it's Joe Guy. And it's like a lot of this shit just shouldn't be happening. It's just like you and I should be the ones living together. Sure, it, you can say it's hella early, blah, 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 yak, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't care if I have zero jobs. I don't care if I have five. I don't care if I'm flat out broke. Like I typically am. I don't care if I'm balling with fucking money, which pretty much is how it is after I manage to um get my refund. I will still be the same person. I'm the person who wants to be happy, have a decent life, and just enjoy stuff. It's not about trying to buy your love or trying to do this or trying to do that. I'm just doing what I feel is right. I try to do what I feel is right by the person. I try and look out for people who have debt and, well, not people, but those close to me who may have debt or may need a little help. Because I know when I need help or when I've needed help, who was around for me? Nobody. Even my own mom was like, fuck you. Dad, fuck you. Brother, fuck you. My own brother couldn't say happy birthday to me. But he looks at Facebook and notices I have an iPhone and immediately says something doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Sway, if you're watching this shit, what the fuck, bro? It makes no sense. But anywho, um, I just want peace, happiness, no more bickering, no more arguing. I don't like it when you, like, get upset with me over, like, small stuff. I can understand that it will hit home for you with the whole looks thing. And I sent you a specific song because this song is one of my favorite songs. This song has pretty much gotten me through some shit. And it pretty much it this one the first song I sent you, quote unquote just that sexy, it pretty much conveys how I think or feel toward you. I don't see you as like ugly or anything. And I think you misinterpreted what I said about Rebecca entirely. But in the same sense, you yourself has have said to me, I'm not sure if you were actually around me. I think it was online because you usually don't give me like grief face to face. But I could swear it was online. I probably have it saved somewhere. And you said if it were just about looks, you wouldn't be with me or do. Implying that I am ugly. And then once you say something like that, 
It might not stick with the conscious me, but it sticks with the unconscious me. The unconscious me knows everything that's been said and everything that's done. And the unconscious me will go ahead and attack that unless I decide I want to control it, try and control it, or figure out how to prevent it from happening. But for all in all, me and you, I pretty much what, what I want to see is us together. Dudes going back to where the fuck it is. Rebecca is out of the picture. You and I get a chance to just live life. I mean, I don't care if times get tough. I don't care if times get rough. I don't care if we are both broke and struggling to make ends meet. As long as we're together, nothing fucking really matters to me. I know I'm not reading anything. It's just most women that I come across don't fathom being a teammate. It's like they either want someone in front of them or they want someone behind them. I'm sorry, but I can't be the lackey. I just can't. So that rules out me being behind. And I don't want to be Mr. God. So that kind of rules out me being in front. I don't want to have to control a woman's aspects of her life and teach women how to douche and shit like that. I mean, I'm a guy. I should not know more about any of these womanly situations and subjects than a female. It makes no sense to me. That's a different story. Yeah, as you see, I'm sitting in my junky ass room and shit like that. But um, I just wanted to like clear it up as much as I can. I like how things have been going. Sure, I've been spending money out the fucking wazoo, but whatever. I mean, for my birthday, the whole IX indoor amusement park was thumbs up. I mean, I literally, this is the first time that I've had anything enjoyable happen to me in the span of like, what, 12 years? It's like over 12 years. I think, but it's 12 plus 12 is 24, and I've been dealing with bullshit since I was 12, so that would be 12 years would be 24, I'm 29, so we got to add in some more years, but this is the first time I've actually had a, uh, even remotely anything close to birthday happen for me, even though I paid for it, it doesn't fucking matter, the night before where I was at the hotel, shit was fucking awful, and I kind of wish I could go back and not do that, but whatever, let's see, the talk about I mean, the talk or the mentioning of what you did when you were in co, it bugs me. It, 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 it does. But in the same sense, I don't want to attack you and be like, so, okay, if you want to talk about how you were heard about um, what I said in the video, how the fuck do you think I feel when I find out about what you did when you were in co? I mean, if, if we want to attack people or we want to attack each other, we can't, but I don't want that back and forth. I mean, this shit hurts and shit makes me feel like I'm not good enough or I'm not worthy or I'm doing something wrong because that is the first thing I feel when I'm told something like that. It's like, oh, damn, you, you aren't man enough to do whatever. So I had to go ahead and do this. So I don't really know what to say on that, on that sense, but yeah. Um, I just want you to be in good health and in good, good, sane, sound mind. I feel like for that to happen, we need to get you to be able to feel like you are able to make decisions. We need to get life on track. I am trying my best to get my life on track. This shit would be like 500 times easier if, if dude wasn't in the fucking picture because I could literally just say, okay, you give you the TV, give you the shit, whatever, whatever, allow you to hook the shit up, whatever, whatever. Even if I didn't like physically live with you, but my shit was there, that could work too because, and, but I just don't see my shit being there with some other guy because yeah, that would just be stupid on like so many levels. But if he wasn't in a picture, I swear to God, life would be like five times easier than what it is now. We both would be a lot less stressed in my opinion. Um, but pretty much, I want Rebecca out of my life. I haven't said that out loud previously. I mean, I've been doing the motions and trying to make that shit happen. But in the same sense, when I see the situation between you and God, when I see you become argumentative with me and back and forth and I see you go to him I think to myself I don't want to get stuck left out in the fucking cold looking stupid and shit because there is always a chance that you could be like oh fuck you Daniel 
at any given time, you can be like, fuck you. I, I'm not paying you a dime, and I'm just going to disappear. I mean, I've put a lot of faith in you as a person. And I don't feel like you've put all that much in me because you could easily do an alarming amount of things. Just like, dude, I'm breaking up with you. Dude, I, I had three some dude, I'm gay. You could say whatever the fuck you want to literally get dude out of the picture, but you haven't. Which it kind of makes me feel like I'm not worthy of something's wrong with me. But you said to me today that you think I'm sexy. I don't find myself sexy at all. I find myself as just Daniel and that's it. But um, yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention. I don't know about you guys, but I just don't feel like this is $145. Well spent. I mean, it's two boxes. The boxes expired 2016, so I guess I could crack one of these fuckers open and look. Oh, I don't even need to crack this shit open and look. So we got six 30 day lenses. And as you can see, uh, it says six lenses. So we got we got six for this eye. We got six for this eye. And seeing as it's six, I guess it is six fucking months. I thought I was going to get a hell of a lot more. And as you can see, it says for a stigmatism to Japanese shit. And oh shit, bro. I got my fucking prescription power. Now I can go order those um Halloween contacts, which will be cool. But yeah, I got those today too. Um I pretty much I was at Parmatown, I went pick up those. I bought a uh orange Julius smoothie and I I left. I like not having to sit around and think to myself, how the fuck am I gonna see if Julianne sent me anything or, not, or how if anyone sent me anything because I have his phone now and I can just check my messages on the fucking fly. I like that. That was the main reason. Well, that was one of the the, 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 the main reasons I s said, okay, we'll give this shit a shot. Because typically I'm anti-phone. I would typically say no and be a huge stickler. And yes, I was wrong. And yes, I can admit when I'm wrong. And yes, I can apologize. I typically don't. It, typically, if for anyone else, I would not apologize. I would not admit to being wrong. And I would find some way to yuck it up in your face. But clearly yesterday when I was wrong, you was like, look me in the eye and say you're wrong and apologize. And I did just that because I'm a man of my word. I'm not just going to be like, okay, I was wrong, but I'm not going to be No, fuck that. I mean, got to lead by example. <clears throat> Show people that I'm fucking real and this is the fuck I'm talking about. This is what the fuck I want and what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make life to where it's fun. You should be on my team. Because that was the same thing I told What's Her Face. And she is still complaining about dumb shit. Because I asked her what the fuck was wrong with her. And she always talks about being stressed out. And I'm like, dude, your life's not that fucking bad. And she says the same fucking shit. Um, I'm, uh, uh. I'm see if I can find this shit. Uh, yes, I can. This is the same shit that she's been complaining about since I first met her. I'm going to try and get this to focus not so much on the number, but more or less on this shit. I asked her, so what is the issue? You never asked me the first time. She said, pain, stress, work. Aside from work, what's so stressful? Family and friends. Okay, sorry to hear that. This is the same shit that she's been talking about since super long as time ago. This was before I actually met her in physical person. When she said her parents were going to kick her out of instead. And I'm like, dude, okay. Because I'm like a person who just wants to help. And I, I want to find someone who... I can go through life with and, and and just get around all this bullshit and make some make some shit happen. I thought it was her. I I was clearly wrong because she's still doing the same exact shit. Working three jobs, making less than one K a month, I think. 
Yeah, I, yeah, making less than one k a month, struggling with like an overload of, of medical bills and phone bills, and trying to help parents out and do this and do that, and she doesn't have any money. She doesn't even have a car, so she's depending on parents, people to ride her around and shit like that. But yeah, um, she's not doing anything. She's had like ninety million chances to change. The only reason I gave her. Assuming another chance is because you kept saying, "Oh, you should give her a chance." Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was pretty much when you seemed like you wanted to go do shit. I mean, I really don't understand the situation. I want all that shit done. Once this is talked about, once we like have like some sort of sit down where we can both like spit out whatever about how we feel about the other person. That's the random variable, Joe for you, Rebecca for me. I'm not gonna speak about it anymore. I'm not gonna reference her anymore. I'm not gonna say her name anymore. I'm pretty much gonna forget she exists because it, it is what it is. I'm tired of the nonsense and bullshit. Um, <clears throat> what else? What else do I want to talk about? Oh, I still got some rallies. That's gonna be my dinner. That was one of the main reasons why I don't eat all the time and I like talk and stuff. Because if I order some food and I don't eat it, I can have it for the next fucking day. Because if you go out there looking at the refrigerator, ain't shit. No mom people fuck less about me. She's gonna move that man upstairs, and then it's just gonna be more drama, more bullshit. That's why I'm hoping to God one of these jobs shakes. I get my first Ohio job. I am the fuck out of here asap. But oh, another thing. If I would have moved in with you, I would have never left you hanging with the bill. I had all that shit mentally set up because if I'd have moved in you with you for and it would have been the fall semester, all that money that I wasted on dumb shit and hotel rooms and all this other dumb shit that could have been avoided. Just like I'll tell you about the whole driver's license thing, I say the money can be better spent elsewhere. So if you and I work together as a team, all that money that I could be、uh, that I am going to shell out to pay. For driving school and cars and this that because I have to learn on something and I have to get the shit done. I could be kicking that back toward you, me, us,、uh, a house, living arrangement, shit like that. I know the mortgage and bills and shit like that clearly will pile up, and I would optimi- optimistically like to be the guy that helps out with that shit. But It takes people to understand it. I got this shit up here. I got it mentally saved. Well, if I don't pay for like an iron, because I know you got an iron. But see, oh shit, I'm dri- I'm dripping on my laptop. Fuck. <laughs> but it's just shit like that. That's what twenty eight dollars I could have saved. <clears throat> And we could have put towards something else, like the internet bill, a phone bill, a cable bill, light bill, whatever. I got all of these good ass ideas on how to get by and shit, but I don't have a teammate. It's just me right now, so I get to struggle alone. Now you, you don't get to struggle alone. You get to struggle with somebody because clearly, from what you said yesterday about the whole WrestleMania thing and the gas bill, I mean. How do I put this de- simply? I'm on my fucking grind. I don't. I don't do shit like that. If I'm in your house, I'm gonna say,、hey, "This is your. This is your house." Would it be okay if I did this? That's just me. Like when I was in your house and you were in the bathroom and shit, and I thought to my, when I, I put my all my stuff on the table to do laundry. When I came back, I noticed some money was gone, and I was like, "Oh no, she did." And I thought to myself, "This is her house. I don't think she would steal from somebody in her own house." So I said, "Okay, calm yourself, go through your pants, look. Lo and behold, the money is right there." And I'm like, "I'm glad I didn't go knock on the bathroom door. I'm like, did you steal some money from me? Because I would have felt real fucking stupid. I would have had to say, 'Oh, I was wrong. I'm sorry for being a complete utter dick, and I probably would have made shit way worse than it needed to be.' So sometimes I can't control the me fucking shit up." Um, yeah, I think I'd like discuss the most of the shit I wanted to. I need to clean up in here. I need to try and crank out this social homework, and I need to try and crank out as much of that English paper as I can possible. 
ideally I would like to turn this English paper in tomorrow and then I can have my Thursday free and my Friday free and not dealing with these douchebaggy ass teachers and I can study for whatever the fuck we're supposed to be doing for Psycho Monday and that's that but my goal is to get a job get a car Get the fuck away from all of this. Well, yo, the, the phone pretty much handled, I guess. Got a fucking phone, so I don't need to do that anymore. And see, here's another thing. If we were living together, I wouldn't need two separate internets. I'm paying, what, 40 to 50 bucks a month for this shit. That money could be going elsewhere. But see, you got to want, you got to really want this shit. It's not like I was just going to be like, okay, let me move in. And then I become like some sort of deadbeat user kind of guy. Because I'm a fucking boss. I'm on my grind. I'm out here trying to make something of myself. I'm trying to make it so that if the world's going to fucking end, I'm going to be smiling and happy my last days and last hours. I don't want no bullshit, no fight, no drama, no nothing. I want to be smiling and happy as much as I can if the fucking world's going to end. I want happiness, peace, and a woman who loves me. And I felt like that should be you. I feel like it could be you. All we got to do is just get some small shit together. Um, again, about the whole you not feeling or you being self-conscious about stuff. Let me be clear about one specific thing. If I did not find you to be beautiful, we would not have the sexual connection that we do. If you don't believe it's there, eventually you can come say hi to me and then we'll see about that. But my thing is, beauty is more than just how someone looks. But my thing is, your physique is like perfect. I kind of wish you wouldn't have did the whole, I'm going to get my boobs reduced, but that's a different story. But um, physically, you are a very good looking person. I don't know how to explain what I was thinking when I raged out in the video. Rebecca's not all that good looking. I mean, she's she's okay for pictures. But if you look at her in person, like if you see like the first picture I took of her and myself, like when we first met, I mean first first met, it's not like she's not even all that attractive especially when she's at work she's li really letting herself go so i mean it, i just don't understand why it, it was it caused such a i'm upset kind of thing because it was just like a comment that was like misunderstood i mean sure i was mad and when i'm mad you can tell because when i'm mad i talk like i'm a fucking black person nigga this that fuck you bitch listen here it is that sort of shit when i start to speak direct and it's short and it's not long-winded you can probably pretty much think that this guy is probably mad or he's angry or pissed off at something but i hope that this issue does not come to creep up because my thing is i love you for who you are the person that you are it's not just about looks my thing is i've already told you stuff like i felt like you were my dream girl we could do this we could actually be soulmates etc etc but i can't convince you to listen to me and i guess i have to wait for you to come and do it on your own so i'm i'm just i'm waiting figure out that the shit that i say is true i want what i want and i'm i'm just honest about the shit i'm straight fucking Straight to the fucking truth. Oh, and another thing. If we lived together, we could get one bed if the bed wasn't already feasible and acceptable for the both of us. And we could save money on that too because I'm going to have to shell out like 300 fucking dollars to replace this fucking thing. And when I replace it, I'm going hard. There will be no more full-size beds for me. This nigga's trying to get a Cali King in that motherfucker. You feel me? But yeah. I have a lot of ideas and plans, and there's a lot of shit that I could do if I wasn't with fucking AT&T, and I could tether and not be, not have them try and add on more to my fucking bill. Um, I would go back to the, the, the hacking shit that I used to, man. I will, you would just be like, wait, what? Did this nigga really just pop up with, like, $4,000 worth of shit and didn't pay a dime for it and can't ever be caught? Really? How'd you do that? It is what it is. I mean, I got all this fucking knowledge up here. Just don't fucking put it to use. Because I don't have the means. I can't do shit around here with a douchebag.
good on a positive note, douchebag is upstairs again, which gives me the free reign from down here. I can walk around, I can go outside and smoke without hearing a fucking word unless she hears me going out the door. But yeah. I'm sorry this video was so long, but I felt like I wanted to make sure I just try to talk about everything I could. I'm going to stop being so nerdy and just be just speak like a normal motherfucker. It's just like sometimes I just gotta say this shit and get it the fuck out. I care about you more than you will probably ever know or realize for the moment, I guess. The things that I do, it's not because I want to buy you. I don't want to buy anyone. I just want to be happy. I want life to go as stress-free as possible so that people can stop smoking so much. No more need for inco. No more need for dumb shit that happens while inco. No more need for having some random motherfucker around in your house that really doesn't seem to give a fuck about you. It also implies to me because I have a random motherfucker in this house that doesn't give one red cent about me. This motherfucker can say, oh, I love you. Have a good day. Be safe. Be careful. As much as she fucking wants. That shit means absolutely nothing to me. And I know that at the end of the day, she will throw me under the bus as soon as humanly possible. And she's trying to throw me under that bus with that eviction because that throws a huge fucking brick in my plans. Because my thought was, I'm just going to stay here this summer and get the fuck out. I'm done. But now I got to figure something else out. Hopefully I get a job and we ad lib and pick it up from there. Um, I'm cutting this vlog right about here. I just want you to know that I really do care. I sent you the songs. I want you to listen to the songs. And I want you to understand. I'm sorry if I did not respond to your text because I am a vlogging. I just want this shit out there. No one really pays my vlogs any attention. No one thinks that you're ugly. No one will say shit about your looks. I will never ever again in my life mention looks. When it comes toward you and me being angry, if I feel like I'm getting angry, I am going to take myself and have a meditate. Samurai in this motherfucker. I thought you knew. But yeah, let's be out. One. My iPhone, bro. Oh, somebody say something to me. And go bang loud in the motherfucker. Oh, wait, someone sent me a fucking email. Oh, wait, why am I doing this shit on camera? <laughs> um, yeah. Stuff. Hopefully everything's good. Like you said, it was good. You will get the job. Linda's such a fucking optimist. You people and your optimism. Yeah. I don't until I have the job in my fucking hands and I see that motherfucker smile and say, you know what? I'm gonna give you a job. That's the only time I'm thinking you got the job. Until then, I don't feel that, oh, yeah. You, you think confidently so you can get it because I thought I had, like, three jobs and then shit didn't happen. Whatever. I'm cutting it here. Linda sent me a, Linda's a black lady because you know, but yeah. Um, I'm going to go find something to eat, try and get this social homework done and charge my fucking phone, maybe. I don't know. But Julian, you should just know. You should just know by now. There's no need to doubt me. There's no real need to question me. I mean, sure, I'm not perfect. I'm not God. But I'm pretty good with treating people well and making sure everyone's happy. I want the best for myself and I want the best for you. Even, even if that requires you to not be around me. As long as it was what's best for you. You used to say that you were doing what's best for you by being with that guy. I think that you see that you can do better. Better's right here. And we out. Shut.